How to create and launch Big Commerce Store. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to create and use Big Commerce Stores for beginners. First, what exactly is Big Commerce? Big Commerce is an e-commerce platform that allows you to create and run your online store. It's an all-in-one solution that offers everything you need to launch and grow your business online. You can manage your products, orders, customers all in one easy to use dashboard. First thing you're gonna do is to make sure that you're at the essential page and not the enterprise page. Then you're gonna click start your free trial. You're gonna fill in your information, then your number, your email address, any password you want, then store name, which we're gonna put coffee world then you're gonna put the size of your online business you can put the revenue of it if you're a growing business you would have a, more options than smaller businesses but right now we're gonna put I have a start selling it then you're gonna confirm I am NOT a robot you're then gonna click create your own store you have to wait now now we're gonna press redirect now we're gonna have to we're gonna log into our account that we had just created. And then we wait. We're gonna have to wait for a few seconds for our store to be created. Now it's gonna show us this series of questions if we have an existing website, what we will be selling. What describes how you are currently selling your products? I'm gonna choose Ask Me Later, so we won't deal with that for now. Now, if we are here in the dashboard, this is the most bas the basic thing we're gonna see right now. We have all of this option. The first thing we're gonna do is the view store. Now, over here, we can see this is the current state of our page. This is where we can see our products and other features if you want to add. We can edit this store by clicking here. Clicking storefront. Then we can see here we can change our team by clicking team marketplace. And as you can see, there's a lot of different themes for different industries. We're going to click free. And we're going to choose one that we like the most. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick Vault Cool. Then add theme. Apply now. Okay. Now we're going to have this as our theme for our page. Now we're going to click customize. Now, as you can see, this is our current page. It's different from the what we saw earlier. And on this left side, we can see different widgets. There are layout, text, images, hero banner, carousel, video. These are all the widgets that we can use to do to add design to our page. For now, we're gonna add an image. Then we're gonna upload an image. As you can see, the image has been uploaded. We can preview our current page over here by clicking the preview button. Now to create a new page, if we go here on the top left corner, click the button create a new page. Put your page name, we're going to put product. Then we're going to click show this page in navigation menu and create page. Now, successfully created a new page named product and now it's going to appear on the navigation bar. In this new page, we're going to put a product widget and this will show our product. Now, if when we preview it, this page will now home page. This is our home page that we see earlier with this. And then we also have another page here called product where we can see our product. 
Now we're going to go back to our dashboard. These three options here are the main pillars of our store. Orders, products, and customers. In products, this is where you can add products that you are going to sell. These are the sample products right now that you are seeing in the page earlier. We can add, click add, so we can add our own product. Uh, we're going to put input basic information. For example, the product name, we're going to add uh, coffee cup. Cup. Then we need to add SKU, product type, default pricing. We're going to add $2. Weight, 5 kilograms. Brand, if you have a brand, then you can pick which category it belongs. We're going to click kitchen. Then you can add description for your product. Then you can add save. This will now add your product to your store. Let's see if we can view it in our store. Product. To see our newly added product, you can simply go here on the product page from earlier. Okay. Drop the product widget. And click here then we're gonna add the product coffee that we added earlier coffee cup and then it will appear here if we uploaded an image earlier it will also show here the image going back and go back there's a lot of things you can do to the page here in the whole page, you can see how many people visited, the conversion, the orders, the revenue, the different store statistics. Uh, up here, you can see what you need to do to start accepting orders, different things you need to do before you can start. The other options also available are the storefront, marketing, analytics, channel manager, apps, the settings, account settings, my profile, and change store. Big Commerce gives us a free trial, but of course, Big commerce is not free, of course, and we would have to upgrade your trial to start selling our products. We can see here in the plan, there's $39 for standard, $105 for plus, and $399 for pro. The different type of plan would give us different types of benefits, as you can see here down below. Big commerce is pretty easy to use for small-time businesses, and I would recommend it to anyone who would start up an online store and have $40 extra in their revenue per month. Anyway, that's the basics that you need to know, and this is it guys. Thanks for watching.